that relate to the vision of you were sharing with me once that, you know, the goal is to be looking out? Exactly. Um, and when in our walk, our outside walkways in our high school, they were, the, you looked out the windows, which are arched from the hallway, and you looked out, clear views. Now there's buildings in the way, but it was the time, a clear view into our orchards, into everything that was outside of us. Mother Adelaide's purpose was that we are being educated for there, not for here. We were being educated to be remain in the convent, as you know, remain behind walls. We were educated in order to bring what we learned to the people, whether it was as educators, as medical staff, as administrators, as principals, as social workers, as um, pastoral care people, whatever it was, we always had a vision. So we were trained with the idea we would be working elsewhere than here, okay? So when I first came to interview on the campus at St. Leonard, as I was leaving the interview, nobody toured me anywhere, okay? But as I was leaving, as I approached for the interview, I noticed the scallops. To me, they reminded me of the cloister walk at our mother house, only those were finished arches. So it's the walkway that impressed me here. Mm -hmm. And over the year, and, and so when I was driving back, I looked back at the archway, and I said, I belong there. It, it reminded me of the mother house in addition to the fact that the space was, um, our grounds respected the natural movement that was already on them, the trees, the landforms. You didn't level everything to create uh, or to build. What they did was build in the spaces that was left by nature with very few felling of trees that were not necessary. So all of that took me back to the Franciscan roots and I, I could, could see myself easily transplanted here because Francis was extremely respectful of the gift God gave us in the, and gives us daily in the environment around us, the natural environment. And if you notice in, in Europe, they respect the antiquity. They don't just tear it down and put up something new. You'll see a, a side of a building alongside of a new building. They respect the antiquity of things. And, and when you look at our campus, it's not a young campus. No. No. It's not a young campus, but it is our responsibility to retain the pristine of the campus. And so, it, and I walk under the arches now to go to Mass, and I look at them and I say, this is, we got to do something we've about this. Something. And somewhere I knew you were gonna attend to that because you really have been looking closely at infrastructure. It was, it was my goal to show how the, I felt it as, as Director of Mission Integration, to show how the, the mission of the Sisters of, it's all on my walls, this is part of my home environment. The mission of the Sisters of St. Francis of Sylvania, Ohio, is, is, um, with, is found within the statement of the mission of St. Leonard. That's not happening today. But you, you can pull it out. It's there mm -hmm. with the CHI statement. It is there. But when we first created our own, it, it had to not somewhat reflect ours, but it had to reflect it in such a way that the ministry was there, that we serve the poor, we serve the fringes of society, we, those, we serve those that others cast aside. The elderly and the aged. Yeah, exactly. Would you say we have an obligation to take what is old and to make it beautiful again? Oh, absolutely. We have an obligation. It's still beautiful. It's an antiquity, but we have the obligation to keep it new, to refresh it, to keep it renovated, so that it, it perdures into future generations. So it's here for beyond the now. Mm -hmm. In the orientation, when I'm talking to either new residents or new employees, and I talk about how, you know, you've met one person 
uh, and you've just met one person. Exactly. You've Always met in one life. Sister. You've only met one sister. Exactly. It's, it's about relationships. It's about getting to know people. And, you know, how that relates to each of us and what we do every day, working with one another, really getting to know one another and building those strong relationships to say, hey, we're part of something that's bigger than just oh, much us bigger. individually. Yeah. Um, do you remember interviewing me when I, I came to St. Leonard? He, what he said to me, we sat down, and I said, now, what makes you want to do nursing home administration, residential long-term care. And he starts out with, I see it as my vocation. I said, stop there, you got it. <laughs> That's all you need to do. Voca, vocare coming from the Latin being called. Vocation is that which you are called to. In your lives, your marriage, single life, me, religious life is one, but then you're called beyond that to fulfill your baptismal promises. And that's what each of us does in the ministry that we are. We are fulfilling our baptismal promises. Mm -hmm. If uh, I had to ask you what does living our mission mean, how would you put that into words? Responding to the gospel of Jesus, St. Leonard has the seniors of all ages achieve their highest level of independence. That's our mission statement that we had for a lot of years. Everything we do, if it's not responding to the gospel of Jesus, it doesn't, we don't belong doing it. If it's not in response to the gospel, and that's why what our, under CHI, what our mission is, whatever events, you're bringing on board, need to reflect what that mission is, mm -hmm. needs to somehow connect. And for you to even, or whoever is introducing the program, to even state that, to state our mission at St. Leonard is, and here's where the event we're doing today, fitting in, that we need to remind people we are not just a business. And we have that job up there, they're thinking at a different level. And I'm not saying God, okay, but at that, the, the top level of our business. This level of our business is the heart. This level is the boots on. This level is the feet on the ground. This level is the down and dirty. Sister, would you applaud anyone's efforts to lead with their heart and to find ways to get things done um, not necessarily waiting for things to happen or someone to say, hey, we're going to give you something to get that job done, but literally making it happen. There are so many stories from our first foundings, and, and that's that providence of God piece. So we believe we start it knowing that if it is of God, it will come. It will be finished. God will do it. Now, Sister, I have called you the heartbeat of the campus. Um, it touches me deeply. Well, you really are the pulse, the pulse and the heartbeat of what we do. And, you know, leaving behind the mission and the legacy, um, knowing that you're going to be going back to the mother house in January, what would you leave as advice to all of us in our ministries to sustain St. Leonard? There isn't one single heartbeat. There isn't one single heartbeat. I promised you all today at the table that as I have kept you in prayer closely these two and a half years, I, and all the time that I, I was a minister here, I will continue to keep you close because part of my heart is here. Mm -hmm.